Farm Aid Concert Tour comes to Raleigh tomorrow night to raise money for struggling family farms. In North Carolina, agriculture and agribusiness is a $92.7 billion industry and employs 17% of the state's workforce. As WRL's Chris Lovingood explains, advocates hope to expand that opportunity, but it's often an uphill battle. This farm aid farm tour bus arrived in northern Durham County in Rougemont at the Bull City Farm owned by Joseph Stirrup and Samantha Gasson. We, you can go in with the pigs. They're super friendly. Other family members and advocates from across the country met some animals who are more like pets for Samantha Gasson and her family. Making it profitable requires creativity. And we do tours, and then I teach a lot of classes. I do cheese making. These visitors came to learn how to expand opportunity for others from all backgrounds. Ray Jeffers' family started his farm 103 years ago and passed it down to him. You don't see that a lot now because there's a huge issue with heirs property kind of passing down, having that clean title for maybe someone in the family that wants to farm. Gasson and her Maybe husband were able to buy this there, land, but she knows how hard it is to find available farmland. Some settle for short-term leases, even though they need to put years into making their work pay off. All of that kind of stuff takes time and it takes effort, and you don't want to do it if you've got a three-year lease. Now, higher seeds and feed prices make it harder for family farms to earn a profit. Yeah, our feed prices have gone up a lot, and that impacts you. I mean, I'm going to have to go up another dollar this year for my eggs. Farm Aid provides ways to keep family farms growing. It's always good to apply for that grant money and get grants that we can put to use, put it in together the programs, you know, that keep farmers farming. It's a challenge. Everything's a challenge. But I think farmers, for the most part, are we're resilient people and we're we're small we're small business owners and small business owners are resilient people. I'm Chris Lovingood for WREL News. It's hard work, but boy do we need that hard work. The Farm Aid concert tomorrow, the twenty fourth, will be at Coastal Credit Union Music Park at Walnut Creek in Raleigh. It starts at 11 a.m., runs till midnight with a long list of rock, folk, country, and bluegrass artists.